Hi, I'm Wesley. I'm the director and chief physio of Physio and Soul Clinic. So I'm just starting my day with a five kilometer run. So we'll see you guys later. Hello, good morning, Chief. Um, your first version starts at 12 today. Okay, thank you. Hi, everyone. This is Wesley again. So, I just dropped off my kids at the childcare and I just came from my office. What I'm going to do today is going to show you what it is to be in the life of a physiotherapist and a podiatrist in Physio and Soul Clinic. So, come follow me. So on my clinical day, I typically see about 8 to 10 patients. Uh, today, my first patient is here and uh, he has this condition called a frozen shoulder. So it's quite an interesting case and I would like to show you what we do for frozen shoulders. Alright, so follow me. Hi, Mr. He. How are you? So it has been about two weeks since I last seen you, right? So how have you been? Uh? Uh, I've been uh, very diligently doing exercise. Very good. In fact, uh, actually, seriously, other than the bed lying one, uh -huh. doesn't feel like I have frozen shoulder anymore. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Okay, Emma, let me take a quick look for you first. Huh? Okay, just stand up here. Excuse me. Okay, thumbs pointing forward, right? Just go straight all the way up. Point out. So bring your elbows to the side, right? Just go there. Is it painful? No. Okay. But it's, it's a bit strain. A bit of strain, yeah. yeah. Lift up your head slightly. When you put your hand underneath your pillow, it becomes a problem because you are trying to open up. So frozen shoulder, there's three stages, right? Yeah. Freezing, frozen, and thawing. Oh. I think you are definitely in the thawing stage already. In fact, late thawing stage. Uh. So you give it up uh, another uh, uh, one, four more weeks, I think you can go as high as maybe 180 already. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. okay now. Actually, today is much better already. Yeah. I, I I can feel positive uh, because last <laughs> the last four to five months uh, wow, mm. I feel really you feel feel a bit sickening. Uh. Mm. They're not even try anything. Yeah, just press down. Okay. Yep. How do you feel? Okay. Okay, now. Yeah. So force your thumb down. Yeah. Down. Open up your palm. Let's yeah, try. So both hands right on the on the wall. Okay, so what I want you to do is to bring the chest right closer towards the wall right without bending the elbow. So what we want is the shoulder blades right to be able to support the shoulder a little bit better. Yeah. So what you'll feel is uh, next time when you lift up your arm is less less effortful. Mm -hmm. Right. So you won't have to do a lot of that hiking. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the challenge is uh, how do you progress once you get it right, right? Yeah. It's actually to progress to a single arm. So what you can do is after you do that, right? You can just try to test yourself by going single. Okay. Not bad for a first try. Oh, you can feel the tuk tuk. Yeah. Okay. So it's about the dynamic stability in the shoulder. Yeah. Okay. So the moment you see the other shoulder coming forward, right, that means uh, it's time to stop the exercise. The muscles around here right, cannot take it anymore. So Mr. Heed, uh, that's all I have for you today. Okay. I okay. think the next session, we don't need to do it so soon. Okay. I think okay. you are able to do your exercises quite okay. well. So maybe the next review will probably be about two weeks time. Okay. Alright, see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So that's it, um, that's my first patient of the day with a case called frozen shoulder. Uh, this patient is actually recovering very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let you all follow the rest of my colleagues for the rest of the day. Alright, see you guys, bye.